Hello everybody, welcome back to my officially last and hopefully last part of my Deus Ex Invincible War walkthrough. My name is Elijah and I am with Heretic Network. So with all that said, let's put an end to this game. This time, hopefully there won't be any more fuck ups. Let's hope there's not any... We're not joining the Templars, so fuck off. So this is the one that did it. Let me just pick up my... Mag Rail. And we're gonna... We're gonna fuck these Templars up. Come on. Told you we're not gonna fuck up. Oh. Shit. This we have no choice. We have to use the CMP grenade. Will it be enough? I don't think so. Okay, good. Backup has officially arrived. Sniper too, so I might. Well, not a sniper, but. But we have to take care of that turret somehow. First, let's go check for treasure here. Holy shit! All this for us. Save my game. Um, I just got past the part that I was stuck on, so now. Yeah, I'm actually really concerned that I do not get a game over stream, so. Uh... Let's just go up there and let me take advantage. Actually, let me take control of this turret. I could have just hacked into the security computer, by the way, but actually, no, sorry, the security computer doesn't really do much. Anyway. Hey, biomods! Let me check how much uh, multi tools I have. Well, we only have 18, and we are nearing the end of the game, so. Fuck it. Actually, no. Much. No, what the fuck am I saying? It's like. What the hell? Oh. Hey, hey, hey. So how much bio mods? We have nine bio canisters. Nine. I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to install this again. Only because that's useless. The other uh, mod ability was useless. Anyway. 
Like I'd rather not. I'd rather have the enemies not hear my footsteps rather than have a uh, mindless drone picking up much of my freaking, uh, you know, bio energy. I guess. Now finally, it all comes down to this. It all comes down to whether we want to kill Paul Denton, rescue him, or just leave him here for the Templars. It's up to us to decide. Because he's my brother, I'm gonna rescue him. Welcome back. I just revived your brother JC in Antarctica. Tracer Tong is coordinating with him from Germany. You look like one of the test subjects. Alex Denton. JC said I was one of the MJ-12 experiments. Of course, Alex. Sorry, they say the brain freeze snaps off a few dendrites. So it's time. Your biomod architecture, it's universal? That's what reversed my coma? Yes, JC wants you to meet him at Liberty Island. It won't be easy leaving New Cairo though. The Templars have seized the Arcology. Don't worry about me. I didn't just come back from the dead to get killed hours before the big event. Join us at the statue. As MJ-12 used us, we've used you. But the commodification of ability is about to end. Well done, Alice. Paul will join me on Liberty Island. I've constructed a machine that will populate the atmosphere with the particles that make up our biomod architecture. But I may need your help against the force of Templars that has intervened. More when you arrive. Contact your pilot with the Flight Bay 23 beacon. Don't worry about Paul. I will arrange for his extraction. Fine, control your own way. But don't think I'm going to ignore a threat to the world I brought back from Ashes 20 years ago. The collapse was the work of your good brother, J.C. Denton, remember? My commandos will be waiting for you on Liberty Island. Great. So will when I. we get to Liberty Island, we, it seems like we won't have any uh, friends. The commandos will be after us. Shit. Possible sighting. They're already killing us right now, anyway. Whatever you do, don't get, don't go near that smoke. It's fucking harmful. That's not right. Hopefully the SSC guards. Hopefully the SSC guards won't be after us. I guess. I'll resolve this. Your luck oh, no. ran out, dude. Oh. You will work. Well, thankfully we're not going to go down there. Um, once we once we fire up this pilot beacon, we're off to Liberty Island. <clears throat> Got the signal loud and clear. Let me know when I should fly in. I've completed my mission. So, Alex, I thought you should know. I did some asking around. No one knew who sent you to New Cairo, but I started getting this news out of New York. And now I find out that that's where you're headed. What news? My girl in the city, Aaron, she has a view of Liberty Island. First she saw some sort of construction project where the statue used to be. Sounds like Knights Templar showed up there, too. Also, a fly friend of mine saw Chairman Dubier and some commandos on the South Dock. I think you're working for the WTO. The WTO? It's not quite that simple. Well, it makes no never mind to me, but I have a proposal. This jet carries two Sunfire missiles. I can take out the ground force He's of any lying, by the way. Me. A strafing run? Just tell me who. I was the best dive bomber in the RAF. Flatlined a trench in one run in the Ukraine. Flew a bird with no... I get the idea. Right, well, I'll take out whoever you want for 2,000 credits. I already paid you. Not for dive bombing. I've got to cover the cost of ammo. No thanks. Sure you can stand up to crossfire from three directions? I'll take my chances. Suit yourself. Let's go. Sure you want to get dropped at Liberty Island? I heard the place is haunted. I don't think so. That was UNACO headquarters, right? United Nations Anti-Terrorist Coalition. I know what I'm talking about. I heard it was a front for the terrorists who made the Great Death and brought about the collapse. So? So it's haunted. Nothing but death ever came out of that place. He's actually right, and apparently the Illuminati didn't really back up uh, their brethren's the MJ-12. Uh, well, the proof is right there for you guys. And you might be wondering why I picked J.C. Denton. Well, 
First off, think of it this way, Alex is their brother, okay? And not even that. JC Denton probably has like the most, uh, probably has like a better political philosophy than the other three organizations. The Illuminati want to control everybody from behind the scenes. Uh, the Templars want to kill everybody and go back to an age of uh, barbarism and medievalism. Whereas JC is the only one that actually wants to, you know, progress human, uh, human nature, humankind, you know, mankind. Chasing Denton is the only one that actually wants to, you know, basically fix the world. So that's why I picked, uh, I went with JC. Although that does mean that I'm now gonna have to go up against three freaking three different factions on Liberty Island, which sucks. It looks pretty rough down there. Pity you couldn't afford a couple of my Sunfire missiles to help you out. For what it's worth, here's a map of the island. Later, old bean. Think I'm gonna rag it over to Times Square to see Aaron. Hey, Alex. Paul's already joined me inside the statue. Before my machine will work, however, we need the Aquinas Protocol specification from a computer on the lower level of Inadco. Yes, the machine taps into MJ-12's old network. But this time, the network will be a tool for everyone. Alright, so first off, let's go in here and let's uh, talk to our old buddy Leo J. Kowski. Or how it pronounce it. And I think I'm gonna save my game. I'm freezing my Hello, ass off, how's it going, buddy? The Omar shut down my Enviro suit remotely. One good thing about this freakish weather, though, it makes for sharp thermals. Whatever's under you, Natco, we're not too late to keep them from finding it. They're searching for data that will let them restore the pre collapsed communications grid. Which they will appropriate for themselves, whoever finds it first. That's the impression I get. It doesn't take a genius to see that they all want one thing. To force their system or whatever on the rest of us. The world is doing just fine without a supreme leader. We can't just walk away from this. We can, after we eliminate the leadership of these factions and destroy whatever it is J.C. Denon is building inside the statue. You mean kill everybody on the island? The leaders. The ones dragging the rest of the planet into this mess. Jay-Z Denton's utopia machine, whatever it is. I'm ready to back you up. Just give me an assignment. I could use your help with the Illuminati commandos guarding the South Dock. I brought you something from Cairo, by the way. The Biomod canister on the crate over there. It was a payment from the Omar. Personally, I'm done with biomodification. Here we go! Hey, not any sense. Wait too long. Alright, so basically Leo's now going to be helping us against uh, the leaders of... Against the uh, faction leaders who we want to kill. Bet they aren't expecting to see Leo Jankowski. We have to be careful too, because we don't want to waste ammo. I mean, we don't want to... Well, we don't want our ammo to run out. Also, I gotta heal up, fuck. Thankfully, there's not that many. Oh, shit. We were trying... Yeah, 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 we, we screwed up, we screwed up. Wow, this is a pretty epic battle, eh? Actually, a very good finale to an otherwise great game. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck, I am not... I am not gonna die from, from a fucking spider bot. I am not dying. Come on. Shit. What's the problem? You scared? Ammo. Nagria. What's the problem? You scared? 
Okay, good. That uh, spider bot is neutral on us. Let's uh, go this way. Let's see if there's any items we can pick up. Oh. Ah, nothing's just, we just uh, a whole bunch of redundants. Okay, first, before we go into the Yanako headquarters, let's uh, fucking uh, kill the Illuminati. Let's kill the leaders of the Illuminati, as Leo J. Kowski instructed us to do. But let me save my progress. I know I wasted ammo, but damn, we got pretty far, actually. What's the problem? You scared? I don't need you, Alex. I can restore Aquinas myself. I just sent my commandos into you, Natko, to make sure you don't transmit the protocol data to the wrong place. Ah, uh, worst mistake you'll ever make. The Illuminati comp and compound. Good, the good thing is, the Illuminati commandos in this game are actually really piss easy to destroy. Just keep firing the Magrel at them and you're basically set. They go down pretty easily if you have EMP grenades and uh, Magrel, so. Thankfully, we have both of them, so they should go down in a second's notice. Well, more like a minute's notice. Just be careful that you don't waste ammo like I did, but... Um, Waiting for the load screen to finish. Also, there's some uh, ammo inside, so that's hopefully good news. They don't know we're here, so, we, so the surprise is up to us. I mean, we have to crack it here. I think. Let's just turn off our uh, thing before we take that over here. Glory. Secret. Shit. Actually, that'd be pretty hilarious if we can knife this guy. Yeah, we can, we can knife him. Seeker bot that we probably should be aware of. Actually, let's take control of the Hunter Seeker bot. Yep, it's right there. We got we just got discovered. But you know what? That with the Hunter Seeker bot. Oh, fuck. I thought I could handle this stealthily, but it seems I can't. Shit. And we just discovered by... Oh, come on! I hate being stuck. Yep, worst assassination mission ever. Thankfully, we got the surprise jump on him now. We're running out of ammo. We're dangerously close to running ammo. So... Ok, 
good. And both these traitors are now dead. Beth to Claire has met an unfortunate end. Alright, now that that's done, let's pick up this ammo. Um, actually, let me see if there's an... Like, I'm, at this point, I'm willing to spend whatever multi-tools I have just to pick up some ammo, because, well, I, I think I ran out. Well, I'm dangerously close to running out. Alright. We have full ammo now, so that's cool. Good, they're dead. Now, time to leave this area. Two down, one more to go. The Templar leader, um, who has that funky name that I apparently forgot, Sam Saminar. I'm not sure. So yeah. Anyway. Um, I remember first playing this game back in uh, 2004 actually, well, yeah, it was 2004. Uh, I got this game originally on the Xbox, it was a gift, actually, I uh, actually never played the first DSX game before this. I, I played this first and then I played the original, so, I mean, this was a gift that I got for Christmas, I think, and it was, well, it was a pretty good gift actually, I, I had a lot of fun over it. In the following months with Invincible War. It was a really uh, exciting game, I think. I just saw backup didn't arrive, and backup didn't arrive, so we're good. Anyway, so let's. Uh, What's let's, the problem? You scared? Let's go that way. Also, let me just get rid of my baton stick. Yeah, I know you guys are pretty... You guys are upset, but I want a fucking rocket launcher. And let me just... Increase range. Refire rate. Yeah, we need a refire rate on this thing. And we also want this. Good. Now this thing is really deadly. Fires more than one missile. So, Tracer Tonk said to go meet him in the dock, and that, my friend, is what we're gonna be doing. The Greys are our allies, so that's good. Our allies are the Greys. And there's more ammo here. You guys are way easier to destroy with the rocket launcher. I guess we can use this to uh, get used. 
I'm your overlord. What the hell? How the fuck did that even happen? A spider... A spider bot can take care of a... Hunter Seeker bot in just a few hits? Yeah, I wish I had my baton now, fuck. Oh well. Just gotta be careful. What the fuck up. So let's just go to the north deck. Take care of some business there, I think. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna finish this. Let's... Tracer Tong is also waiting for us in this deck, so let's go and uh, help him with his plans. Can't believe this is the end. I mean, we give. I mean, I only began this LP back in what February. Have absolutely no idea that I would have ever actually be able to finish something like this. I was actually gonna quit midway right away, to tell you guys the truth. But I just kept it in, and I was resilient, and and now here I am, the end part, the finale. The finale. Just. Just gonna stretch it out for as long as I can, and now uh, and then we're gonna go, and we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Just need to uh, let's go find Trace Thompson. Yep, there's Trace. Sighting. I should take a closer look. Oh shit, that's not Trace. Oh fuck, that's a that's an Illuminati. That thing are a rocket launcher my hand is it? Shit. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Hey hey! That bot's on our side. Oh shit, that was Tracer. That we almost, uh, almost like totally killed. Thankfully we missed, so... I think this is the only moment where Chase, Tracer actually shows a bit of, uh, you know... Where he actually shows that he's not a weak character, although he, although he is kind of weak because he asks us to. Oh, crap! Where the hell is he? I know he's here somewhere. Ah, you gotta be kidding me! Statue with JC. I can't leave these bots unattended, or they might fall into the hands of one of our enemies. Are their legs frozen or something? The bots are fine. It's cracked processors in the housing units that have prevented me from bringing them online. JC warned me that the eutactic nature of the statue reconstruction would require him to drop the temperature, but this is quite extraordinary. How's he able to control the weather? You can do it with an anite swell. The particles absorb kinetic energy, which is then emitted as light. By the time I arrived, though, the glow had subsided, so our choppers had no warning and crossed into the zone too quickly. Can the housing units be repaired? Yes, it's a simple repair. I just seem to have left Trio without any multi-tools. Well, you're officially an idiot. Can you at least get out of my way so I can pick up some ammo? Ah, fuck, you're not even listening to me. Alright, whatever. Let's, uh... We have plenty of multi-tools, so let's activate these bots. Let's 
still, I don't understand how you can control the weather. I mean, I, like, I'm not good at science. I mean, don't uh, quote me or anything, but that's, uh, well, it doesn't make sense to me. And I don't know if uh, the scientific theory of invincible war makes sense to you guys. Again, I'm not good at science, so don't. Uh, <laughs> so I wouldn't know any better. I, I don't really know. Let's go talk to our good friend. Hopefully, you'll move out now. Now I will take action. What are you going Finally. to do? Finally, you've seen more of the island than I have. Where do you think the bots will do the most good? I take the east side of the island back from the Templars. We certainly don't have a more determined enemy than Numen and Saman. Well, here's your chance to test his resolve. Oh, that wasn't an ammo, it was a baton stick. But damn. Biomod canisters are just popping out randomly now. It's as if the game suddenly says, okay, whatever. Here you go. Have uh, have as much as you want. It's kind of it's kind of pointless though, because like at this point you already have maxed out most of your uh, biomod abilities, and plus oh, you got to be kidding me. It's all glitched. kind of a waste, which is unfortunate. Yes, on the back too, where it does the most critical of damage. Man, these Hunter Seeker bots are actually pretty useless. Commandos, fuck. Crap. What the fuck? All right, um. Hold on for a, hold on for a minute. My game just uh, froze. Um, my game just froze for a minute. Let me just um, let me just restart everything back up. All right, sorry about that. My game froze. It fucking froze. Now we have to uh, basically restart some parts all over again. But whatever. 
these guys will take care of the enemy combatants here. But we progress ahead and take care of the en enemy combatants elsewhere. Oh, what the hell? Yo, the game- what the fuck, they're just- Good. Fuck! That's why I hate using those stupid rocket launchers. They do a lot of damage, even more so than the Magrail, but they're not as accurate, which is a fucking, which is fucking stupid if you ask me. Don't get me wrong, they're a lot more accurate than the, than the Mag- no, uh, no, the Magrail's way, way more accurate, but... The Megra also takes forever to kill. Oh. Yes. Took care of that. Now let's see what's in here. Ah, you lucky bastard Templar. Okay, good. Now let's see what's in here, what's in this bunker. Ah, the boss fight himself. This guy has a aluminum Samar himself. Fuck. Oh my god, I hate it when that happens. You know what? I think I'm just gonna throw a grenade. That worked last time when Chad doing here, so. Or I suppose you expected that to finish me off. <laughs> wow. Um so yeah, no way I'm gonna die. Hmm, I wonder if Toxic Blade would work on Wow. And here we are wasting ammo and yet the Toxic Blade work can fucking work on this guy. Shit man, I had no idea. Okay. At this point, it's kind of, it's kind of useless to point that out to us. Good. All right then. So now that our business on this side of the island is finished, we can now go back to the other side. We can now go back to the Unatco. Headquarters, and now we can uh, basically finish the game without a fucking freeze up. Can't risk the game freezing down on me again, crashing down on me. Sorry, but yeah, we just killed Luminum Samar. So all the faction leaders are basically, well, they're done. Now we have to upload uh, the thing to for JC Denton to add Unatco and well, yeah, we're we we win. By the way, the FMV for the JC Denton ending is actually pretty sick, so you can count that as another reason as to why I chose him. <laughs> Anyhow. <coughs> 
just waiting for this load screen to finish and to finish loading it will take a while but it will finish eventually side of Liberty Island. The west side, you know, bro? Don't fuck with the west side, bro. I can't see shit in this island, on this island. Hopefully there's nobody in there. Crap. But you know what? It's just I have a mag rail. I'll just... Here. The EMP fire on this mag rail against them. Good. You deserved. You deserved that. You crappy robot. Freaking out of date now. And not enough bioenergy. Great! Oh, the mess kit, I guess. I'm gonna save my game because I'm uh, worried that another crash might happen, which would be extremely unfortunate. Also, the weather is too hot. It's ridiculously warm. Seriously, I don't know how the weather is in a in other parts of the world, in other countries, but in Canada, it's actually boiling here, and we're not even in July yet. That's how freaking hot it is. Like it's, it's like to the point where everybody's either boiling or sweating to death, and uh, and it's not even July too. So, imagine that. Oh well, whatever. I guess uh, it's a nice treat after the hard winter hardships that the winter brought upon us. So I guess a little warmth is a little warmth is a good thing. Yonatko Ruins was uh, the second level of the original Deus Ex, if you guys don't remember. In this game, it serves as basically a, a kind of climax. It serves as the climax to Invincible 4. As you can see, this place didn't really suck, stand too well between in between uh, Invincible 4 and the original Deus Ex, so uh, kind of looks pretty. Good. Where are these guys? What can you tell me about Bald. this place? What's the tell? It's where I live. Fifteen years now. I was the first one to show up. Guess it was abandoned during the collapse. I don't know what's going on out there, but this is my home, and I'm equipped for a fight if it comes to that. Yeah. Wow. Kind of He's very have? loyal. Just some very loyal. I scavenged from a couple of thugs a while back. You at the raiding party or something? I guess you've been pretty good about avoiding my people so far. I'm selling some of the stuff if you're interested. Want to do business? All right. Ammo. Clips. Uh, we'll take the frag mod. I'll take the frag mod. What a. Must have thought twice when he saw knows, us. Who knows uh, how handy that might actually be? Anyway, there's really nothing in these other rooms besides a whole bunch of. Uh, Besides a whole bunch of homeless people walking about, this guy says he's equipped to deal with a. He's equipped to protect his home, and yet he's fleeing at the side of a rocket. Refire mod. Refire weapon mod. Awesome. I did 
I stop the Illuminati commanders on this earth. Shit. That was pretty intense. Huh. What's going here? What's going on? I can't see a thing. Find a coin spec A. This is what we're looking for. And this is what uh, we have found. Now it's time to upload the spec to JC Denton. Fuck. You know what? I'm t I think I'm just gonna run you away from these guys. This. Yeah, I'm gonna run away. No way I'm fucking dealing with these bastards. And uh, there's definitely some backup outside, so... Uh, <laughs> At this point it's best to just get the hell out of here as soon as possible. Just get the hell out of here and get back to J.C. Denton's headquarter. <laughs> Seriously. I told you, when we came here we would be on nobody's side and everybody would be against us. Except the Greys who are uh, essentially useless. And three Denton brothers who apparently are also useless. Which kind of questions why I even picked a side with J.C. Denton when they're all useless, fuck. <laughs> but then again, if this if we if we if they were uh, if they were hostile against us, then well, that wouldn't work out in, our, in terms of our odds. So yeah, they wouldn't want the entire island to be against us now, would we? Loading, 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 loading. Done! Alright. There's definitely some more outside, isn't, isn't there? Yeah, there's way more outside. Missile grenades are easy to avoid, by the way, if you're fast. Well, mostly it's easy to avoid. Hey, the Hunter Seeker bots are here. Thank thank God we restored these guys. They'll take care of uh, all the hostility outside. We go inside to our protective home base. You have the Aquinas protocol and here I am. Your enemies are defeated. I have no enemies, merely topographies of ignorance. The people drift aimlessly, collecting into clans, wherever they find a glimmer of knowledge. You don't sound worried. Helios has regained its hub privileges. Step into the infusion chamber, and the nanites in your body will be replicated in the air, and ultimately in the bloodstreams of every last human being. So, basically what he's saying is that the minute, the second, the second that I press the, that I right click on this, that's when the game ends. I'm, I'm shitting you not, the second I press this button, we have completed Deus Ex Invisible War. Alright, so, on a count of three, one, two, three! Census remains clear, yes. We will prolong this second century of peace. Economic automation is complete. 
Our research will now encompass other frontiers. Yes, this is the consensus we have created. Our unity will soon be absolute. The remaining boundaries are vanishing. Yes, share your mind with everyone. Open yourself. Your needs are the needs of all. Let us understand and be transformed. Yes, transform each other and transform yourselves. The only frontier that has ever existed is the self. Helios has spoken. And that's the end of Invincible War. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough and I hope you guys enjoyed this LP. Um, I enjoyed working on this LP actually. I greatly enjoyed working on it. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was a lot of fun for me and I hope it was a lot of fun for you guys to watch this. So yeah, this is basically it. Elijah's first completed Let's Play. More is to come in the near future. Thank you for giving me this opportunity guys and uh, yeah, I, uh, I hope to see you guys soon on future LPs and future projects. Take care and have a good day. This is Elijah with Heretic Network.